Good morning, journos, and welcome to Journo TV. So what's not so good in the daily? Authorities are reporting that Aaron Alexis, the man who killed 12 people at the Navy Yard in Washington on Monday, had a history of mental health issues. And he recently tried to buy an assault weapon, but the store didn't sell it to him. Gasoline has now gone a thousand consecutive days at over $3 per gallon. The record consecutive day streak started in December 2010 and is unlikely to end anytime soon, according to the American Automobile Association. Damon Janes, a 16-year-old running back from New York, lost consciousness after a helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit in a game last week and died Monday. Highlighting the ongoing debate regarding football head injuries, the NSA's command center is a Star Trek remodel of the bridge on the Star Trek Enterprise. And of course, everyone gets a turn in the captain's chair because children must play nice while deciding what to do with all of the stolen private information gathered by them. Just saying, people who are worried about your lives aren't in the interest of creating a comfy room to sit in. What's good in entertainment? Okay, I promise we'll soon stop using the Miley word. We're over it, I promise. But before we stop speaking of Miss Cyrus, We've got one more story. A university in Michigan had to remove a pendulum art piece from their campus after students started using it to parody Miley's music video, Wrecking Ball. A note on the university's website states that administrators removed the art piece for safety reasons. And something more for Disney stars. Congratulations, Zac Efron. He's completed his rehab, and the high school musical star reportedly is healthy, happy, and not drinking after a hush-hush stay in the treatment facility five months ago. Now the cast for Fifty Shades of Grey is out. Charlie Hunnam will play tormented billionaire Christian Grey, and Dakota Johnson will play the sophisticated literature student Anastasia Steele. This movie has the capacity to be X-rated, so how much sex will they have on the big screen? It turns out our favorite cowboy, Clint Eastwood, has a gorgeous son, Clint Eastwood's son, Scott, not only inherited his father's passion for acting, but his good looks too. He's so rugged and manly. Mm. What's good in technology? Designed and built by German company Zollner Electronic AG, the latest edition of the Guinness Book of World Records has confirmed the world's largest walking robot. This robot is a 51-foot, 11-ton, radio-controlled dragon that, of course, also breathes fire. A new cell phone law is set to take effect in January 2014. The law would make it illegal for you to jailbreak your phone and punishable with up to five years in prison. The Obama administration is asking the FCC to make rules that allow consumers to unlock their phones after their contract is done. That's it for today, journos. This is Stephanie, signing off of Journo TV. Are you a young reporter? Still looking for your big break? Then come do what I do. Be a journo. Plug in, be heard, stay gorgeous. See you next time.